Hi, Christy here, reviewing what I think should be compulsory reading for everyone and especially managers and teachers, anybody in authority. It's a bit shiny. Malcolm Gladwell, Blink. This book, I've read it twice now, probably read it three times actually. And every time I read it, I get something more out of it. This is a serious, serious book. It's sold on the, the power of thinking without thinking. And it's become sort of an icon within business world for managers, people like that, to make decisions. And the sort of the perception is that it's about quickly making decisions that will affect your business and investments, things like that. Or that's the way I would sort of heard about it. But I think it's a lot deeper than that. It's about perception. And especially since the Black Lives Matter anything to do with racism and the sexism and the ageism all the isms that i fight that i feel annoyed about are all tackled within this book malcolm gladwell is mixed race and he does touch on that within the book but what i think i get from it and i think you can learn from it especially is that we all make judgments in the blink of an eye that's what it's about the blink and if you've ever questioned or not Probably even more so if you've never questioned whether you're racist, sexist, ageist, whether you judge by appearance. We all do. That's human nature to do that. Read a book by the cover. That's what we do. But this is powerful reading and I would really suggest that you read it. With regards to writer's tips from it, I think you can learn a lot from this writer. He's a very famous writer now. He's got a lot of books that are very powerful. But they're very basic. It doesn't, it's not a massive, big, thick book. The font isn't that small. It's easily readable in short chapters. But each chapter he illustrates with a point. He has a case, almost like a case law, really, behind each argument that he puts forward. And I think that's really important if you're writing non fiction, especially, that don't just ramble on, relate it to yourself as Malcolm Gladwell does, he relates it back to his own personal history, but relate it back to case studies and real scenarios that prove your point, because that helps embed the knowledge and it helps people get in the mindset of, oh yeah, I've not thought of it that way, but when that incident happened to me, I could have perceived it in that way, or maybe I did perceive it in that way. So it's a very powerful book. It says the power of thinking, but I think it is a very powerful book. Like I say, it's not a lot of reading. You'll get through it quite quickly. And anybody that you know who's in management, HR, any position of power, any teachers, please make sure that they've read this book. And like I say, I would love to know your opinions once you've read it as to what perceptions you've maybe noticed that you do make in the blink of an eye that you really shouldn't. And the last little bit of the book is a very powerful call to action. I won't go into it now because I don't do spoilers on books, but please make sure you get through all the way to the call to action because that it truly could be life changing. And I think we're in the generation now where things can change if we keep the momentum going. OK, so learn as a writer from this, learn as a reader and a human and a humanitarian from this. And enjoy it and let me know what you think. Bye.